Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about evaluating limits. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x. f of x is our piecewise function of x over 2 plus 9 over 2, where x is less than 1, and x squared minus 6x plus 10 when x is greater than or equal to 1. And we have to evaluate this limit. Now what's tricky is here, we can't just go plug in x equals 1 right off the bat, well in a second, we have to analyze our function here. If we ignore our restriction on the domain, both of these are continuous functions. We can plug any value in for x that we would like. Okay, we're good there. And it kind of we know that these functions will be continuous for both of them. So with that being said, we know we have to evaluate one from the left and right hand side. If we evaluate it from the left, we have the top function. And if we evaluate it from the right, we have the bottom function. And we can see that from our domain. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually plug in when x is 1 for both of these functions. If they both equal that same value, then we can say our limit equals that. If they have different values that they equal to, that means they're approaching that from approaching two different values, so our limit won't exist. So let's go do that. So for the first one here, let's plug in 1 in for x. We have 1 over 2 plus 9 over 2, right there. Well, 1 over 2 is a 1 half plus a 9 halves. 1 half plus 9 halves is a 10 halves. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. Okay? So from the left, our limit, if we approach 1 from the left, we approach a 5. But what about from the right? Well, so let's go to the second equation. Again, we're going to put 1 half in for x. 1 half squared minus 6 times 1 half plus 10. Well, 1 half squared, oh sorry, not 1 half, 1 squared. This is what I get for, uh, see I was thinking about the 1 half, but really it's a 1. See, that would make a mistake right there, so don't do that. Alright, but good thing we caught it, and hey, we all make mistakes. Plug a 1 in for x, minus 6 times 1, plus 10, and this is a much easier problem now. 1 squared is 1, 6 times 1 is uh, 6, and plus 10. 1 minus 6 is a negative 5, plus 10, and negative 5 plus 10 is a positive 5. So from the, le uh, the right and the left here, we both approach a 5. So that means that our limit here, as x approaches 1 of f of x, is equal to 5, and that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.